Welcome to the first video of the CC Insights series. Today we will show how you need to set up Power BI Desktop to run the CCO Insights dashboards. OK, so the first thing we need to do is we need to go to GitHub, then Azure and CCO dashboard. Now here you have two different options. One of them will be downloading the zip, the content as a zip file, and the other one will be cloning the repository. While the zip is downloading, we're going to come here to the dashboard governance folder and open this markdown file. Here you can find all the information about what are the different API versions that we're using for the latest version of the dashboard, together with instructions on how to set up all the settings that we're going to go through right now and uh, the credentials that you need to use. Now, once the zip file is downloaded, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to extract the content locally. Again, you can download the content as a zip file, but you can even fork the repository if you're planning on contributing at, at some point. Now, once we have the content extracted locally, then the next thing we need to do is we need to create a custom connectors folder in our Power BI directory. We can do that by going to documents and Power BI desktop folder. Now here, you may or may not have this folder created. If you don't have it, please do it under the name of custom connectors. This is the folder that Power BI will leverage to understand if any custom connector needs to be loaded. Now we're going to come to our governance dashboard folder, copy this custom connector.mis uh, file and paste it in the custom connectors folder that we just created in our Power BI desktop directory. With this, we're ensuring that Power BI knows this custom connector and is able to load it. Once we have done that, then we need to go to Power BI Desktop application and there are a couple of settings, a couple of configurations that we need to enable to make sure that both the infrastructure and the governance dashboard works. So we'll go to File, Options and Settings, and here we'll open the Options tab. Now within uh, this tab, we're going to go to the security section and enable that um, allow any extensions to load. This will ensure that our Power BI templates from the CCO dashboard are able to load the custom connector information. The next setting that we're going to enable is in the privacy tab, always ignore the privacy levels. And last but not least, we're going to come to the data source settings and ensure that there are not um, locked in credentials that may interfere with the configurations of our different dashboards. Now with this, um, I'm going to ask you, um, Jordi, a couple of questions, um, like common ask questions. And the first one would be if we can download or configure this um, custom connector file in our OneDrive folder. So the, the answer is no. By default, Power BI Desktop only recognizes the uh, documents folder from your uh, local computer. So if you have a redirected uh, OneDrive documents, you will need to place it in the correct path because if not, Power BI Desktop will not recognize, recognize the custom connector. Okay. Um, the second common asked question is, um, what's the recommended environment to work with these dashboards? So you can run it uh, directly from your laptop, but the recommended environment, it will be always an Azure PM because we will have better network connection and also the performance, it will be better. Perfect. And now last but not least, how can we contact the development team in, in case that they have any issues? So the face, face, fastest way to contact the uh, development team is to create a NISU on the GitHub portal. Then we will contact with you uh, directly to track the issue. And if there is something happening or we have a bug, we will fix it. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you.